Thank you. You gotta go to Walgreens. Thank you. You gotta run to Walgreens, y'all. Love has truly been good to me. Not even one sad day or minute have I had since you come my way. I hope you know. Okay, y'all. I'm feeling better. Yes, I am. Lizzie's feeling a little better too, but she 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 was feeling worse. I don't think I was sick. It's just my head was hurting. But um Lizzie was sick. She had fevers and everything. She feeling a little better though. Still looking how she looking. Hold up. I don't I don't go nowhere without my phone. Hold on. Get off the side of the road. Hold up, hold up. Well no, it's here. Ooh! She saw me come out, she fell on the floor. She went. <laughs> How you feeling? <laughs> I got a back, back, Jack, Jack. Back, back, Jack, Jack. <laughs> back, back. Back, back, Jack, Jack. Yeah, back, back, Jack, Jack. <laughs> Girl's looking a little different, huh? Yep, yep. I flat ironed my hair today. Had to do a little treatment. I cut it. I'm barely doing my hair. Maybe I should cut it all the way off. <gasps> yeah. But for real, it's, it's thinning and it's lightening. I don't care about gray hair. Cause look at that. Look at that. Look at that, your girl is getting gray. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Boom, can't tell me nothing. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being serious. The only thing I don't like, it's how it's all lightning. Like, why can't it be the dark, 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 dark brown like it used to be, and then boom, streaks. No, what it does is it lightens the entire thing. Lightens the entire thing, so my hair is like this ashy brown so it looks very dry and brittle and then we have these cute little gray hairs and the crazy thing about it is the gray strands got a nerd to be shiny like but what is that oh there you go you can see the light there it go hold up there it go why is it so light like that and then we got the gray strands on the top look at that what is that uh, why can't it be dark brown dark brown with gray i can't deal with like 50 million different shades all over my head and how it's getting like this light ashy brown it looks so brittle so nasty i just want to chop it all off <laughs> i was y'all i had to scissors in my hand and i was fighting <laughs> i was fighting because if y'all don't know me if y'all don't know me let me give you a little something something real quick I am quick to chop all of my hair off, and I mean chop it off like Eddie, okay? But trying to hold on, trying to hold on. But um, as I'm getting older, it's getting very thin. I remember when I was in Connecticut, and I had that big puff. I used to always wear my hair in a big puff on the top of my head. I miss those days. I be looking at vlogs sometimes and I gotta cut the vlog off because I be feeling sad. I be like, where all my hair go? That was real. The, when my hair was big up like that all the time and I had this big puff, that was real. And then when I would straighten it, it was so thick. And wait, let me see if I could. Y'all know I be struggling with this camera. Don't play with me. Y'all gonna be like, girl, move that camera one more time and we fighting. <laughs> oh, then let's get it. I do Taekwondo. <laughs> no, but for real. If I didn't cut my hair, it probably would be here right now because it was right here when my hair was in that big puff. It was like a little bit past bra strap length, a little bit past it, but then my hair got damaged really bad. I had went on keto, horrible. I tried to savage it. The puff got smaller and smaller and then the puff went further and further down my head. It was never up there anymore. I would wear the puff back here like I do now because it's not that big. I'm not having no struggle little bird's nest on the top of my head and my head is big. You see this forehead? This forehead is massive. That's why when I vlog, I vlog like this sometimes because the forehead ain't looking proper. Today, I don't care. So then I chopped it off. I did a vlog 
and I chopped it off, chopped it off just enough so I could put it in a struggle ponytail and the ponytail was like this much right here. And then I put a fake puff on it, but the fake puff was always back here. And then when we moved down here, my hair kept growing and growing in it. it I was able to take that fake puff off, but it's not the same. But as you can see, it is light. I like the gray, I really do. Y'all, if y'all know me, I like gray hair. I think it's cute. I'm never gonna, there it go. Now you see it light. I'm never gonna cover it. I like it gray. But the thing is, I don't like how it's lightning. I think the whole thing is lightning before it turns gray. And the lightning parts are so dry. My kids are probably dying out there without me because I had to do all of this. I had to wash, had to deep condition. Blow dry, flat iron, all that work. Now it's time to go back out there. But they didn't know this was what I was doing, so watch them act silly, especially Lizzie. She loves when my hair is, um, she loves when my hair is straight. Because, wait, let me come back in here because I look all blue. Hold on. Lizzie loves when my hair is straight because it, when she ever, she does like these little things about me and she looks at old pictures, she always pulls the pictures of my hair straight. And I'll be looking like, you trying to say I'm ugly now? Hmm. She always take the pictures where either I got makeup on or when my hair is straight. Eddie says he loves my puff. He would cry every time I flat ironed my hair when I was when he was really little. He would cry and throw a tantrum every time I flat ironed my hair. He said when he get older, he gonna marry himself a woman with a puff. It was funny. If y'all remember that, he always said he was gonna marry a woman that had a puff. He a little different now. He don't care now. That was when he was really little. Hi, mister. <laughs> I knew I heard the hair dryer. Why are you in the dog going dark? Turn it on the light. Um, Look at that hair. Get it. Someone said they love your bed head. Are you about to show my hair? Oh, I already did. You're too late. <laughs> oh, look. Eddie, I told you don't oh, leave that there because I told you either I or Nana would trip over it. Where is Nana? Go, go get Nana. Go get Nana. Nana, chill. Oh, wow. That look good. See? You got to dye my hair today. There's the girl. Hey, mommy. There's the fashionista. Wait, <laughs> you straighten it again. It's like you straight. You like have it curly. You have it curly. And then out of nowhere, out of just nowhere, you straighten it. And we're like, what? <laughs> no, mommy, it's good. She has a new hairstyle. Well, and I do it so that. It. Oh, ain't that precious? See, he gets excited now. When he was little, he would cry when I straightened my hair. I keep See, Nana remembers. I, I she said, uh oh, her nose was stuffy, y'all. I got up this morning, immediately went in the shower. Literally, wake up, shower, and last night I couldn't sleep, so I organized my essential drawers and I got my clothes ready, so now I have nothing to do. Ooh, maybe she shouldn't be able to sleep a little more often. And she would get things done. <laughs> Get it. So I figured I would just do some crafts. My hair actually stayed straight today. I don't know why I did this anyway. I got a test on Tuesday. A Taekwondo test on Tuesday. This hair ain't gonna stay straight. Why did I do that? I don't even know the whole point of me straightening my hair, period, because I have Taekwondo every other day. Hey y'all, it is late. Yes it is. I'm gonna be getting ready to go to bed soon. Um, just doing some stuff on the computer. She needs to rest for school. Cause she's going tomorrow. <laughs> so she's getting up out of here. Um, but the biggest thing, um, my sister had texted my mom and I. She saw it on Facebook and then she texted to us but I wanted to talk to you guys since it's around Christmas time and a lot of us love Amazon. 
But what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to go into your Amazon account. You know, like when you go to see your address, your name, like how all that stuff is spelled. I want you to go into the account and look at the addresses and make sure it's your address. Make sure that's there and it's not a locker. There's a thing going around saying that um, Amazon accounts are being hacked and they're changing the address to a locker. So when you place an order, it gets shipped to the locker. You know how Amazon have, I think they're called hubs. Amazon has hubs where instead of having something sent to your home, you can have it sent to one of their lockers and you can go and get it. I think like Whole Foods have the lockers and then some other places have them. I saw all these hubs, all these lockers attached to my account address. I don't got no locker. Delete, delete, delete. But when I place an order, I always double check to make sure it's coming to my address. I'm real weird like that. Like I keep looking. Like after I after I got everything in the cart, I'd be looking like, okay, this look right, this look right. And then the kids always want to come to me. It's like they can see my face and they see that I'm 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 in depth in something. They just want to, oh my. I'm like, no, 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 leave it alone. But I, I took all those things off. So what I want y'all to do after y'all finish watching this video, which y'all probably pausing it right now. I know that's what you're doing. And you go into your Amazon, you click on account. If your account was targeted, you're going to see all these wonderful little lockers and hubs as your new address. And I've never had anything sent to a locker or a hub. And then so I Googled it to see if that was a real legit thing. And they're trying to say, this is a rumor. Then what are you doing then? If it's a rumor, why are they attached to my account? I don't have no locker. So it's like, but anyway, that's why I just want to tell y'all. Cause you know, I love y'all click on the account and make sure you delete any hubs or uh, lockers. But I'm about to get up and get ready for bed. This is the last week that the kids are in school for this year. They don't go back until after after like the first week of January or within the first week of January. So, gotta do some planning with the kids. You guys will get some exciting vlogorific sensations. So, I will see you guys in the next vlog. I love you guys, God loves you too. And no matter, no matter how hard life gets, keep holding it down with God. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, toodaloo.